Hi, it's Chris. And we usually only boondock and camp about two months out of the year. But I've got uh, 300 watts of fixed solar up on top of our travel trailer. And then I've got another 400 watts of uh, folding solar panels. And then 200 watts of flexible solar panels. We've got some rich solar panels. And I'd like to take advantage of those when we're home and just hook them up to our grid tied house. In the past, I've used PVC pipes to make a stand which is okay if it's summer and the stand isn't too high, but I wanted to make something a little bit more rigid for the winter mumps and the higher angle required for the lower sun and the snow load. I've been playing around with the uh, Maker Pipe uh, connectors. It's a Kickstarter, pretty cool stuff. And I've also been 3D printing some of my own uh, crossover connectors and things. So I'm gonna use this for my project. Well, let's get started. I got a bunch of five foot pieces of EMT from Home Depot and ordered some of uh, the connectors and U-bolts uh, from Amazon. Cutting the EMT is pretty easy. I've got my father's old pipe cutter. You just tighten it up slightly and then just start rotating it. And as you, as it gets looser, and then you turn it another knob. And you just keep on going around and around. And eventually it just breaks in half. To use the maker pipe fittings, it's like a two pieces of puzzles that go together. So you just put one in and the other piece of the puzzle fits on top. So you've got that. Then you uh, put a nut on the back here and then there's an Allen head screw that goes in the this side. You tighten it up. And then you put the other piece of pipe. This is their T connector. And then you just use an Allen wrench to tighten it up. And that's how all the connections are made. I'm just cleaning up the thread with a 1024 tap so that the thumb screw will fit in better. I'm using EMT and the maker pipe connectors. So each solar panel has a pipe along the outside edges and then one down the middle. And so it's like a shape of an H. The top panel has an extra bar that goes across that has the two um, sliding crossovers that have wing nuts on them that can be tightened. The front extension legs will just come off by undoing the thumb screw. Here you can see the two panels folded out in sort of a winter angle. If your house is grid tied, you can get a small inverter and then use one of these programmable sockets so you can see how much you're producing. And that way your extra 200 watts don't go to waste. E-Tech City smart plugs are kind of nice because you can use a phone app to look at a particular plug and see how much power is being consumed or produced. Our smartphone app lets you look at a particular plug. So if I click on this one, it shows you what the current voltage is, how much energy it's produced, and what it's producing right now, which it's nighttime, so it's not producing anything. By loosening these, and the one on the other side, you can then slide this bar out and change the angle. Here I've slid the bar down and adjusted the angle for more of a summer setting. To fold it up, you just have to undo this thumb screw and the rod pulls out and then you can turn it. I want this joint to be able to move around, so I've taken out the the plastic inserts and then on the little pipe stub that I'm connecting to it I've put heat shrink tubing over the end and I'm hoping that way I can tighten it enough that this pipe will hold and the other one will rotate. This can turn out of the way for storage and then this rod can be turned up 
and stored like that. Retightened. Once you have the center rod turned up, then the whole thing will just pivot together. I've got two 100 watt flexible panels mounted. And this is where it's folded up. Here you can see each panel has a piece of pipe on both edges and a one horizontal pipe. So it's like an H. And then the two H's connect together with connectors. Here you can see the connector between the two panel pipes with the thumb screw. So you have to do, undo both sides and then the two panels come off. So the two halves are disconnected. Then you just need to disconnect the pole. Two panels are separated. Now I just have to slide the poles apart. For camping trips, it comes all apart here. So now I just have the two panels and the rods I have to store. It comes apart to a pretty small package that I can fit in the back of the car. They fit in the back of my car. I have the two solar panels facing each other so the cells don't get scratched. If this project was helpful or interesting, please hit like and subscribe and have a great day.